40 years of my life, I've tried different types of diet, meal replacement, supplements, workouts, diet programs, but nothing worked. Then I discovered this amazing but simple lifestyle change called intermittent fasting. Now, I invite you to join me in this personal advocacy. Welcome to The Fast Life. Good day, fasters, and welcome to The Fast Life. I am your host, Mr. I.F. Dennis. And for today, we are fortunate enough to have a very special guest. But before I introduce her, let me remind everyone, for those who just tune into our channel, subscribe to our channel. That's Passion Cafe TV. Click on the bell icon so that you'll be notified if we have new episodes for The Fast Life. We also have a Facebook page. Subscribe to our Facebook page. That's Passion Cafe TV. Like the page and be updated with our episodes. So this will be our third episode and we are fortunate enough today to have a very special lady. She's actually an old friend from Manila and she has been practicing intermittent fasting for the past six years. She started intermittent fasting when it's not yet known as intermittent fasting. Yes. And she's actually our godmother in our wedding and she's <laughs> a friend from Toastmasters. Let us welcome Madam Gina Mapua. Wow, Madam. <laughs> Hi, Gina. Hi, Dennis. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for joining us You're today. Welcome. So, Gina, tell us more about your experience doing intermittent fasting. You started 2013, right? Yes, May 3. 2013. Okay. I was I, at that point I was very very fat and I was very unhappy with myself. I didn't know what to do. I just didn't want to suffer through a diet only to regain all the weight that I had okay. I had lost when I got off that diet and I, w I just didn't want to diet and then lose again. All right. So I was searching for a way to lose weight. I was overweight. Mm. And then one day a friend posted IF, the 5-2 diet. Okay. In her Facebook page. And I saw it and I said, oh, this is a new approach. All right. I'm going to give it a try. I set a date, which was actually the next day. Uh huh. Okay. I, I thought about it for a while and I had decided, because I at that point I already knew when I'm hungriest. Okay. I knew which meal was the most important meal that uh -huh. I could never ever let go of. Okay. And I knew more or less how I how my body operated. And so it just took me a while to to think of a problem think of a plan mm -hmm. about how to approach it. And then I started the very next day. Okay. Just for the record for our, our for our viewers, how old are you? Ah, uh, mm, sixty one in February. Last February. Yes. So that means you started intermittent fasting around 55. Correct. Yes, yeah, so it was six years ago. W wasn't it hard for you at first, especially adjusting to the 5 2 diet? Oh my goodness, yes. The first week, I was <gasps> so hungry. Oh, okay. It was that, that first week was the most horrible week in all my life. But I had read, I read Dr. Michael Mosley's book. Okay. Uh, I, I looked at, actually at his, at his website, mm -hmm. which was thefastdiet.co.uk. I looked into it. And then the, Dr. Michael Mosley actually has a website show. It was a BB show, okay. BBC show. Uh -huh. I watched it uh -huh. the whole one hour length. And so I knew the benefits to be gained from IF. So that first week, which was just horrible, I just felt absolutely horrible. I was never so hungry in all my life. Okay. But what I kept foremost in my head was there are benefits to be gained from here. It's right. not just weight loss. All right. And that's what kept me going. Uh -huh. And then the second week was fine. And then after that, it's easy peasy. Okay. When, uh, just for the record, 5-2 diet, this is what you call the alternate day diet. Yes. So that means you eat today, you will fast today, then the next day you will eat. Uh, no. 5-2 is... Two days out of the week, you fast. Two days that are not consecutive. Those are your fasting days. Ah, okay. So, you will only have two days fasting. Yes. And then five days. The other five days, you eat normally within reasonable. Within about. reasonable. Okay. So, when you say two-day fasting, that means two 24-hour fasting. Those two days are actually also divided into two 12-hour fasts. Oh, okay. Women would have 500 calorie quotas uh -huh. in which 250 was for breakfast uh -huh. and then 200, another 250 approximately um, for dinner 
12 hours later. Oh, that, that's okay. the absolute minimum. Right. Men have a little more calories. They have 600. Right. Their quota is 600 for okay. those two days. All right. So when you started in 2013, Gina, what was the main reason why you started doing intermittent fasting? Oh my God, I was tired of being fat. I did not have any health problems, okay. but I was just sick and tired of being fat. Every time I looked in the mirror, I was, I did not like what I was looking at. Mm. And then the bones on my feet started to misalign. I could okay. actually feel the bones slip past each other because of all the weight that I was carrying. Okay. And then the day that this, I said, okay, you got to take this, you know, grab the bull by the horns and get on this diet. Because when I bent down to tie my shoelaces, I couldn't breathe. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, okay. All right. So, um, at that time, you said the first week was really hell week. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, what were the adjustments that you did to make sure that, you know, it will be a smooth sailing? Whenever I felt very, very tired or like you, you feel so weakened because of hunger, and I felt very, very, very hungry, I would take a, a glass of water. Mm -hmm cool not too cold because it's really not very good either uh -huh. and then i would just sip it very slowly and feel that water come in and just relax and tell myself there are benefits to be gained from this okay and then you know within a few minutes or so i regained my good humor okay. and the the strength came back all right your heaviest weight was at oh oh 289 pounds oh you were that big before Oof. yes okay oh no sorry 189 pounds. <laughs> 189. So 189 pounds. Yes. And right now you are tipping the scale at 150. 150. Somebody, I mean, your age, because most of the people, their concern was they're having a hard time because of their age, because yes. they're they're going towards their senior years. They mm -hmm. just want to enjoy life. Uh, what can you advise them on how to cope with intermittent fasting? The benefits to be gained for people of my age through intermittent fasting are large, really huge. Okay. Especially if you're beginning to feel the health problems coming on. In my case, I have no problems with diabetes, mm -hmm. but I could feel arthritis coming on. Okay. My joints were aching because of the weight that I was carrying. Mm -hmm. And I could also feel a tightness already in my hands. Okay. So I was, I'm starting to go arthrit arthritic. I, my diet, actually, I did not stick to the 5-2 diet. Uh -huh. What I did was instead of the two 12-hour diets, I would have, and I was also in a hurry, so MWF, I fasted for 24 hours. Oh, okay. I would eat my 500-calorie quota for breakfast uh -huh. and fast for 24 hours and eat breakfast the next day. Oh, okay. The feeling you have after 24 hours of fasting is amazing. <laughs> it's there's no pain. Oh, okay. There's no tightness in the yeah. fingers. Uh -huh. The knees are, oh, they feel so good. There are no joint pains. And I'm actually bouncing down the stairs. Of course, as I'm bouncing down the stairs, I'm calling the cook to cook a horse. You know, <laughs> Marites, I'm hungry. Cook a horse for me. I could eat a horse. Yeah. But the good thing about it is you were able to easily cope with, with the fasting. And because you understand the benefits. Yes. So basically, it's just a matter of knowing what the benefit is, right? Not only just the benefits. I like to think of fasting as a wonderful diet because nothing is banned. We, we grew up eating rice. Yes. So in order to remove rice completely from our diets mm -hmm. is the most miserable thing to do in, in your whole life. <laughs> okay, yeah. It, it's miserable. You miss rice <coughs> and you actually set yourself up to fail. Mm -hmm. Because eventually that rice is going to get you. Okay. You will go for that rice. Yeah. In the case of intermittent fasting, I did not deny myself. On the days when I'm not fasting, I could have my rice within bounds. I ate pasta. What kept me going also is that you knew the fasting would end. Okay. Even if it was 24 hours, you knew that the next day when you woke up, you could eat. All right. And I, there was nothing bowel to eat. Uh -huh. In fact, it came to a point in which I would give myself a reward for for surviving the 24 hours. Uh -huh. I would break one cube of chocolate uh -huh. and just put it in my mouth and let it melt. <gasps> God, that was a reward. That was yeah. fantastic. That's good. That's <laughs> good. Gina, there is always that misconception that 
you don't yeah you were saying you can eat anything you want but there's always this misconception about when you're it's your feeding time people tend to overeat what can you say about uh, that? not gonna happen it's not going to happen if you fast with a certain amount of time even as 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 short as 12 hours your stomach will shrink mm -hmm. as a consequence even if you try to stuff yourself no the stomach will tell you uh, uh, stop eating it hurts it actually physically hurts if you eat too much and stretch that stomach again it just it's just too painful uh -huh. and you just have to stop another thing i noticed also is that you don't eat junk food you don't have a craving for junk food uh -huh. i used to love to eat junk food and candies and and everything uh -huh. but when you're l eating episodes are limited okay certainly they have, they have been curtailed yeah you're no longer going to eat that donut be, just because it's in front of you because you're going to say i have to eat better food true and true, that don't agree yeah sugar also made me feel bad okay I, if i ate too much sugar i did not like that feeling in me anymore it, it my body was telling me hoy sobrana before kasi when you're fat um all that sugar your body was used to it yes i i, I remember before when during our time together in Manila, we would usually go to your house and yes. we would pig out on, every weekend. I know, and we picked out on dessert. And it didn't <laughs> hurt. We, we gobbled double servings of, of dessert and it never hurt us because our bodies were used to that volume of sugar coming into yes, our bodies. Yes, that's true. But after fasting, what happened is that when you eat too much sugar, you actually, that's when I start to feel a little nauseous. Like, oops, yuck, yuck. <laughs> so when you're aware of that, what uh -huh. happens is, you you see that donut and no matter how good it looks it's no 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 because i know it i'm going to feel bad and you opt for better food you realize like hey i gotta eat more vegetables i have to eat better quality food so what happens is that when you're fasting you realize just because you're hungry does not mean you have to eat the food that's readily available right in front of you because that food is not the best choice uh -huh. you will actually wait for the right time to eat now and you will also wait for the right food to eat okay how about your daily routine um some people would usually ask especially members of the group they would usually ask what exercise can you do and is it safe to do exercise during fasting the book i read because i bought dr michael mosley's book on the 5-2 diet and he uh -huh. says that um, olympic athletes were able to fast even while undergoing training it everybody adjusts to it mm -hmm. in my case however when i started the fasting diet i didn't even have any problems because i never really strained myself i did not do a shred of exercise of of the kind where you go to the gym yeah. and do those repetitive oh. stuff i did walk i did lift heavy stuff i did the, you know physical packing okay. and cleaning and things and things like that but so you might not call it formal exercise, yeah. but I was physically active. I was picking up boxes. And to think you're, you're already I, 60. I lost weight. Yeah. I still lost weight despite that. All right. Since you've been doing intermittent fasting, what was the best thing that you've learned through this experience? It's your body tells you what is good for you okay. if you allow it to tell you. All right. If you listen to it, uh -huh. when we eat all the time, we are shutting it up. You know, shut up, here, have a cookie. <laughs> shut up, here, have a biscuit. Uh -huh. It's, after a while, the, it's, it's the voice that you drown in to eat in too much food and in eating too often. When you go on a fast, it, it's a quiet time for your body. And that's the time when you can actually hear your natural body, healthy body come out and speak to you and tell you, this is what you do and see how wonderful it feels. All right. So any last words, Gina, for our viewers who, those who are contemplating on starting intermittent fasting, uh, for those who are having second thoughts of trying this amazing mm -hmm. journey, what can you tell them? Go into it. The first thing you must do, however, is know who you are when it comes to eating and how you feel about food. If you're the kind that cannot sleep when you're hungry, adjust your fasting periods so that your stomach is full when you go to bed. If you're the kind that is perfectly happy going to bed hungry, then 
Uh, so adjust your schedule based on how hungry you are and who you really are. And also, suffer through that first week. Just deal with it. It's not easy. Nothing great and nothing wonderful is ever easy at the beginning. Just go through that first week. Tell yourself that there are benefits to be gained by feeling very, very, very hungry. <laughs> but after a while, you know what? Hunger is not something that will build up and, and so much so that you'll explode. But rather, after a while, the hunger stops. Give, it, give yourself a chance to succeed through IF. All right. Again, thank you very much, Gina, for this wonderful time. Thank you. Uh, we'd like to present to you oh. this um, token. This is actually by our sponsor, Custom Sports. Custom Sports is our official apparel provider. We also want to thank um, our other sponsor, Fitness Nation. Fitness Nation is actually our partner for this uh, show. Uh, that's the best gym in Cebu. Fitness Nation is located in Maria Luisa, uh, near uh, in Streetscape in Maria Luisa. So I'll give this to you Thank as a you. token of appreciation for <laughs> joining us today. Again, um, if you want to know more about intermittent fasting, feel free to visit our group. That's Fasters PH. Just go to Facebook and search for Fasters PH. That's our support group for intermittent fasting. And then. Again, don't forget to like our page, the Passion Cafe TV page on Facebook and follow us on YouTube, that's Passion Cafe TV, and click the bell icon so you'll be notified for every new episode that will be uploaded. Again, Gina, thank you so thank much you. for your time today and have a fast life. I will. And <laughs> for our viewers, if you have any questions, feel free to comment or email us uh, in our YouTube page or our Facebook page. and. If you want to have, um, if you have any other concerns about intermittent fasting, don't forget to like our page, subscribe to our group, and then just PM your questions and we will be happy to help you. Again, this is Mr. IF Dennis and have a fast life. All right. <laughs>